Some materials absorb water, while some do not. Today, we are going to describe and classify materials based on the ability to absorb water. Before we get to the main topic for this lesson, let's have a quick recap on what matter is and the three states of matter. Do you remember what matter is? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. There are three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. Solids have definite shape, mass, and volume and do not conform to the shape of the container in which they are placed. Right now, you're probably sitting on a chair, holding your phone or a mouse. Those things are solid materials. Other examples of solid materials include umbrella, glass, and pen. Liquids, on the other hand, do not have definite size and shape. They follow the shape of the container. Everything we drink is in its liquid state. Take water for example. Water does not have a definite size and shape. It follows the shape of the container it is being held in. Other examples of liquid include milk, juice, and alcohol. The third state of matter is gas. A gas has no definite shape or volume. A gas will fill any container, but if the container is not sealed, the gas will escape. An example of gas is air, which is a mixture of gases containing many elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. Now that we have reviewed matter and its three states, let us now talk about another way to classify materials. We can also classify materials according to their ability to absorb water. First, there are materials that absorb liquid, meaning it takes something in such as water. Ito yung mga bagay na sumisipsip ng tubig o iba pang liquid substances. Halimbawa ay sponge, tuwalya, medyas, bulak, at iba pa. Tinatawag natin silang porous materials. A porous material has small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Second, there are materials that repel water, meaning hindi sumisipsip ng tubig, gaya ng plastic. Tinatawag naman natin ang mga ito na non-porous materials. Non-porous materials are materials that do not allow air or liquid to pass through. Ang tuwalya ba ay nag absorb ng tubig? Ito ba ay porous material? Oo! Ang towel o tuwalya ay porous material dahil sumisipsip ito ng tubig. Ang plastic ba ay nag absorb ng tubig? Ito ba ay porous material? Hindi. Ang plastic ay nagre-repel o hindi nag absorb ng tubig, kaya ito ay non-porous material. So what have we learned today? We learned that materials can also be classified based on its ability to absorb water. Materials can either absorb or repel water. Materials can be porous or non-porous. That's all for today and see you in the next lesson.